Hello, clarinets. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, I'm going to give you the assignment for this week um, that is page 19 of the Essential Elements Book 1. Um, it starts off with Razor's Edge, um, which is number 92. And it has a new note for you guys, which is F sharp. So your normal F is with your thumb. This F sharp is with your first finger only, no thumb. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll get started on number 92. Okay, so we're going to go on to number 93. Okay, number 93 is the music box. And the thing that's a little bit different about this one is that, um, so it has that F sharp, it starts in that F sharp, and then the second note is still an F sharp, and then you go down to a D. Then that third note of the first full measure, it's an F, but it doesn't have a sharp next to it. But guess what, the rule is, if you have a sharp in the measure, it's good for the whole measure. So that is still an F sharp, with just your first finger. So um, when you get play that very first part, that F is still an F sharp. And basically for the whole song, that rule comes back. So like in measure um, five, there's another F sharp, D, still an F sharp. Um, and so yeah, so there are no F naturals in this whole song. So if you just remember that, no F naturals, it's just F sharps. Let's do it, here we go. Two, three, one, breathe. <laughs> Okay, number 94, Ezekiel. Um, this one starts on a low A. Again, we have some of those F sharps. If you look at the third full measure, you have F sharp. The second note isn't marked as an F sharp, but it is still an F sharp. And then the third note is still an F sharp because that F sharp in the, on the first beat is good for the full measure. Same thing with the fourth full measure. So anytime you have an accidental, it carries through for the full measure. That's kind of the lesson that this one, this whole page is kind of trying to teach you. Like, when are things supposed to be sharp? When do they go back to natural? When? Are, so that's the deal. So remember, an accidental is good for the full measure. So this one also starts on a pickup note, so it's going to count you off one, two, three. You breathe on three, and then you play that low A on beat four. Let's do it. <laughs> So now we're on number 95. They leave the accidentals for a while on this one, and now you are just going to slurs. So slurs are kind of the lesson for this one. Um, so pretty straightforward, no crazy notes or anything. Just make sure that you're tonguing the first note of the slur, and then just moving your fingers and using your air to go to the next note of the slur, right? Okay, so here we go, number 95. So this one is um, longer slurs. 
So basically you're gonna have to use your air to push through these longer slurs. Here we go, number 96. Two, ready. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, so sorry. I must have clicked in the middle of the number 96. So sorry, let's try it again. Number 96 from the beginning. Um, and this is exactly like number 95, except why? The only difference is the slurs are different. Hmm. Do you see how I put that little pause in there? Just like Dora the Explorer. You know how she would pause to wait for your answer? That's what I'm doing. All right, here we go, number 96. One, two, ready. <laughs> Number 97, this was a fan favorite, um, especially in the trombone section. So, um, but it has a first and second ending for number 97, trombone rag, right? Um, you're gonna start on your low G, which is thumb, one, two, three, one, two, three. It goes to all, the, you play all the way straight through to the first ending, then it repeats back to the very beginning. And then on the second time through, you skip the first ending and go straight to the second ending. All right, let's do it. this week so here we go number 98 I'm gonna play through it for you this is one where they're reviewing the the accidentals and the, that are thrown in remember they're good for the whole measure so the measure that, that really affects is measure four where you have E F sharp G F sharp so that after the G that is still an F sharp even though it's not marked with a sharp because that sharp that's earlier in the measure is good for the whole measure right so you're gonna play the whole line, you're gonna to get to where it says DC Alfine, and then you're gonna go back to the beginning, because DC means top or head, da capo, back to the top, and then you're gonna end where it says, where you see the word fine. So you're playing the whole line through, go back to the beginning, play the first four measures, stop when you see fine. All right, here we go, 98. This is your quiz this week. Here we go. One, ready, breathe. <laughs> just for the clarinetists, um, those, those first two notes where you go from your A, which is up here, to the F sharp, that's a really good exercise for you to work on pivoting your hand there. So you're not picking up your pointer finger to go from an A to an F sharp. You're gonna have to work to make that a really nice, clean pivot. <laughs> pivot you're trying to pick up your finger so work on just pivoting your so my hand is just like slightly if you watch my hand it's slightly pivoting there all right so that's a good thing for clarinetists to practice all right have fun practicing this week and we look forward to hearing your recordings turn into us on friday bye-bye